This video was brought to you by Elbilmerk, a Bedure Planner, Storenberg, Camp Power and Bill Componenter. Yo, what's up? Today we're gonna test Tesla Model 3 Performance Highland and it's in the ultra red color. It looks gorgeous and it has 20 inch winter tires. This is Nuke and Hakablita R5 EV, but also these aerodynamic rims. Wait, is this something we can remove? Okay, but uh, yeah, I tested it before, but that was in summer. Now it's going to be winter-ish. So uh, last time I didn't test 120 kilometers per hour. This time we're going to do it. So yeah, we have, well, I can show you over here. I have to poke some stuff in here. We connected in the OBD there. So we have the commander for the sexy button. I'm actually not using any sexy button. I'm only using the commander. And then here we also have the OBD link. So um, we have uh, got my Tesla here. I can also bring up the, the sexy button app if I want to, but uh, actually at right, right now I don't need to. It's just doing its magic in the background. So um, yeah, we will just go a loop. It's a bit weird starting position. We start here because over here there are some uh, world works. So I'll just go a loop maybe to Tong and then back again. Yeah, you can see. So you can just do this. You see? We could do this. We could do this. This is wonderful, man. Oh, it is so nice to be back in Tesla again. Except for this shit. This shit. What is this? Huh? What, what is this? Huh? What, what, what is this? Oh, man. <sighs> okay, anyway, let's uh, reset and then start the 120 test first. All right, how is Mjösen today? Oh, not that much wind, but it doesn't matter because this car is just so aerodynamic. It slices through the air like butter through cheese. And then we have to go to 123, that's 120, wait, no wait, maybe 122 then. Okay, 122, that should be 120 GPS speed. And man, it is so nice and comfy in here. We have the winter tires, of course, that, that are very quiet, but also, ever since uh, Tesla introduced the Highland, it is way better soundproofing in here. But also, the ride is a lot better. I've set it now to the standard, not the sporty ride, so... Uh, yeah, then it should ride really well, and I'm, I'm just blown away by how much uh, Tesla has improved the ride over the first generation Model 3 that came out four years ago. Right, five years ago, at least in, U uh, in, in uh, Europe, so uh, this is top-notch. And man, the weather is actually not the best today. It's slight rain, also only 8 degrees Celsius, so summer is over. Uh, brace yourself, winter is coming. Uh, so uh, if you're wondering what is that message well remember the ABC always block camera <laughs> oh, this is strange and this is a press car from Tesla and uh, normally they'd be fully loaded with everything but uh, this car doesn't have auto lane change but okay it doesn't matter if you change lane now manually you see that uh, autopilot is disengaged but then it will re-enable by itself after a couple of seconds you can configure how long you want this before it re-enables and this is actually a sexy button feature so like I mentioned I actually didn't bring any sexy buttons but uh, the sexy buttons they actually do uh, lots of improvements also uh, the auto wipers are not going on like a mofo when they have autopilot on <laughs> so sexy button highly appreciated it makes Tesla great again all right, this time we consume 192 watt hour per kilometer. Ooh, okay, I have to check for distance error. So uh, now we will do the 90 test and we will go all the way to Rudshagda. So that's Birmunda, Rudz okay, okay, so let me see. Oh, there are plenty of chargers there. I don't want to navigate to a charger, otherwise it will preheat. But I'll just go here, see, and then, all right, let's reset and then off we go. Wow, this time I have to cruise at 91 kilometers per hour. That's 90 GPS speed. Tesla has really accurate uh, speedometer. Most other cars have to cruise at 93 kilometers per hour to match 90. But the one really annoying thing with the uh, Highland is that you use these scroll wheels to adjust uh, the cruise control speed, but also to activate and deactivate autopilot and cruise control. So, you see, I prefer double click for en enabling it. You can single click also, but um, it misregisters my clicks very often. So I can hear that. You can probably not hear, but I can feel and hear the click, but it doesn't register. So you have to 
double click no it didn't happen no that was just mm, mm. there you have to punch you have to punch a thing like an old man yeah then it works i mean this feels like uh, driving a polestar 4 really but you know these scroll wheels they are very similar to what we have in uh, model s and x palladium but they work just fine when you hear the click it also regulates the clicks there but with the new highland here test model s oh, sorry model 3 model y at least oh no, no model 3 then it is shit well let's test them coasting here i don't expect good result because uh, it's somewhat cold inside but um the battery power oh, let me see there now we are in uh, neutral and here is the speed with decimal uh, nice uh, pick up speed but not that fast well actually um, will we hit 120 kilometers per hour at all hmm. let's see just need to hunker down now and get down the hill uh, i'm not sure if we have any tailwind advantage uh, well, at least we don't have the temperature advantage and also we have 275 uh, wide tires in the rear so the regular uh, or i mean long range or the rear wheel drive you know, the sr plus or whatever is, is actually not called sr plus anymore but uh, those have uh, 235 uh, rear tires and also 235 front but the performance has wider rear tire which is slightly uh, worse for consumption yeah but we get i want, still want to see how far we can uh, uh, glide though well it's still gliding yeah still gliding maybe the rolling resistance is not the best with the performance but at least the uh, aerodynamics should be very good top notch oh it's still gliding huh huh can we uh, beat classic ionic huh <laughs> classic ionic is one of the benchmarks here I mean, Classic Ionic has uh, bicycle tires, uh, 215 width, so of course that helps. Uh, is it still gliding? Still gliding! Ooh, wait, 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 let's see. Which sign was it again? Where well, the ID3 and the, the Classic Ionic uh, hit 90 kilometers per hour at. Oh, 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 okay, the speed is dropping fast now. Here, here, okay. There, alright. Oh, that's uh, pretty good. We are now at the Rutsugda turn on point, so this is, this is an amputated uh, trip, uh, it's not 182 km round trip or 91 km, it's actually 73.5 and here distance is reported at 73.2, so it could seem like this car reports distance uh, uh, quite accurate, and in general Tesla seems to over report distance, yeah you see right around the bridge here, 70, okay. But we have to see once we're back, it's supposed to be 147 kilometer round trip back to Minnesota. Wow, everything is about to turn gray now in Norway. There's still some green and some orange, but in a couple of months, it will just be grayscale. <laughs> wow, look at this. It's nice and still over here. But consumption right now is 136 watt hour per kilometer. To look at that one. Wow, that is quite good uh, despite that we have performance car, wide tires and only 8 degrees Celsius. Man, the car slows down. All, no, what the heck? Like, the car slows down all the time on this part of the motorway. And this motorway has been finished, uh, I think, f at least four or five years ago. And Tesla still relies on old maps or I don't know what the heck is doing. But uh, most cars that test nowadays, or pretty much all the other cars that test nowadays, they don't slow down on this stretch. You know, I can understand if they slow down right after it was finished, but that was not the case. <laughs> so I don't know what the heck Tesla is doing, why the, the stupid car slows down all the time, even almost a decade after <laughs> motorway has finished, but uh, maybe uh, they should fix this. Result from the 90 test, 143 watt hour per kilometer. Wow, impressive. It's better than the summer result. Okay, in summer we had the uh, Pirelli P0 tires. They are maybe sticky, good for performance. Now we have winter tires, they are soft. And then these are the aerodynamic rims. We didn't have that in the other car. And also the ultra red helps. And then, okay, here, 
uh, 147 kilometers. So yeah, this car estimates um, distance correctly. No need to correct any there. But you see, unlike most other brands, with Tesla, you get good performance and you also get good efficiency. And in this case, also good ride, good comfort. No compromise, yeah. So go get it. Yeah. But that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.